Let's pick out what you're gonna wear. Yeah, how did you sleep, buddy? I remember I was making three and a half times what I was making as a teacher. I decided at that time that between two of us, I'd stay home and be stay home with dad and raise him, and she agreed. And since May 25th of 07, I've been staying with dad. A lot of times when I do tell people, I say, what do you do? I say, stay with dad. I say, I'm sorry, what did you say? Because they didn't really expect me to say, stay at home, dad. They were expecting me to say something else. And they may have thought it sounded like something else and didn't quite hear it, so I had to say it again. I'm like, oh, hey, that's cool. Um, so it's definitely new to a lot of people. But in the same token, a lot of people are aware just to the news and stories that it's more prevalent that guys are not taking on that role. I was involved in a car wreck my senior year. I had two and a half months to go for my student teaching. The wreck happened from the leftover snow. When I started coming to out of coma, I had to relearn how to do everything. Speaking, walking, feeding myself. I had a greater sense of patience developed as a result of this accident. Better appreciation for life and stronger values to teach to my children as I take on this role of a stay-at-home father. The reason we feel it's important to have a person stay home, and in this case myself, is we would rather have one of us raising our children the entire day, every day until they go off to school, versus dropping off to a uh, chain uh, child care center and saying, here's Alexa, do your best to raise them how we would, and uh, we'll see you in the hours. Well, I, and leave. I got it. I never felt judged by the idea that, all right, she might make more than me, or me, she might have a, a larger professional career than I did. It, it was never something that really bothered me. I, was like, I don't care. She's smart. She's good at her job. She deserves that position. It's, it's, it's apples and oranges. It's like it's not a, a comparison. It's like I've chosen a very different career path for myself, and my success is based on other people calling me and wanting to, to do my, to, to have me do their work for them, you know, as, as far as the photographer goes. I think the only thing now is that because I've gotten as many clients as I have, as far as the photography goes, I, I like that I can provide something for the family just mm -hmm. to take our budget <laughs> as slim as it is and add something to it or pay something off or you know, or have a treat one month. Yeah, it you know, makes our life like, a little easier. I actually did a couple shoots this month. That means next month, you know, it's like we get a couple more date nights or something like that. Basically, I became a stay at home dad by default. I was definitely newly a parent and newly blind as a parent. So, um, the combination just was very intense. When I was 18, I was riding my quad down the road to the dirt, and there was a 35-foot culvert, and I flew over the hole, and the, I hit the other side of the hole, and um, 
flew about 50 feet. I basically broke my skull open, I cracked my eye socket, I broke two times here and four times under my eye. Might have damaged my optic nerves and that's what made me blind. I became a stay-at-home dad independently three months after Chloe was born. It, it was a, a very difficult time. <laughs> Uh, a stay-at-home dad's a little more than just, you know, playing with your kids before bed or, you know, waking up with them in the morning. <laughs> Typical daily chores, you have diapers, bottles, crying, throwing up, baths, you have uh, just an infinite amount of things that go on during the day when you're a stay-at-home parent? Well, the kinds of research that is current about uh, gender and parenting illustrates that we're, we're sort of at a precipice. We're seeing a change, and it may not necessarily be because uh, the, the parents are doing anything different or want, in fact, the change, but we're seeing it out of necessity, and that is in part because of this economic recession. Now, that means that many of those young women will probably end up out earning their, their spouse, their significant other. When I was in high school and college, you know, I had these jobs, and you do the best you can, you know, but it's just you. <laughs> you know, you're just, you work hard, and you certainly don't want to do anything that would get you fired or, you know, but you don't have that same kind of pressure when you that I have that I feel now with um, you know losing the job especially in this economy not just for being fired but for downsizing or for whatever other reason um, means a lot now you know it means <laughs> the children need fed and the bills need paid and where do we go for that that pressure of just not having the job is is just always, you know, on my shoulders and in my mind. And so, yeah, it's it adds a lot of stress. <laughs> yeah. There are a lot of mental things you fight with, you know, I, I don't know, never a million years did I think I would hold this type of job. And I thought for a while, you know, there's got to be something more to this. I kind of was like torn because I wanted to, to make money and didn't feel because I was receiving a paycheck that I was contributing. John's from a real blue collar town and he knows how to work. I mean, that, that, that man's been working since he was a little, little guy. He likes to do it. He's really good at working. And, um, you know, I think it's a guy thing just to want to provide. But my mom was home with, with me and my brothers and sisters, and my dad worked, and I, that's kind of just what I always thought would happen. So <clears throat> when we kind of got to the point where we had to accept sort of the hand we were dealt, it was hard. And to, John made such a dedicated commitment to seeing this through that he you know encourages me to just do the same even though I <laughs> I struggle I get pretty emotional when I think about it because I think uh, my you know my dream when you say I do <laughs> to your husband is that you're you know you're kind of have this expectation of what you want your marriage to be and your family to be and you start dreaming you know from day one so I always John and I both always thought I'd be the stay-at-home mom and we both knew one of us needed wanted to be at home and just always thought it would be me it makes sense that I'm a stay-at-home dad and uh, pass on the savings from child care which would have doubled for us now we don't have that you know it doesn't cost me anything so in a sense I had a lot of times where I had to think about how could I make something and to talk with Lori and my, my parents and other people I said well look at the money 
that you're not making, but also look at the money that you're saving. Because your child care would have went up to $1,000 versus $500 if you didn't stay home. I feel guilty for feeling ungrateful for the things that I have, but at the same time, I want to be with my family. That's the, where I am in my life, and I had these babies, and I want to be with them, and I just, you know, I feel like there's just never enough of me to give to anyone, to work, to John, to the kids, and, you know, John supports me amazingly, and I, I'm giving as much as I can, and I, I'm sure it's enough. My mom tells me it's definitely enough. John tells me it's enough. I'm just the one that has these high standards, you know. I hope it's time that they are getting good quality with me and that when they're older, you know, you think back, I was, what was mom when I, I was mom when I was little? Well, she was just, you know, she was always there. I hope that that's kind of how they feel because when I w am with them, I am always there. You know, I'm, I'm with them. Um, they won't think back and think, oh, she was, you know, she was always on the computer. She was, she was always on the phone. I wasn't. I was always with them. So I, I do hope that that's the memory they have. We work at making sure we eat together as much as possible. So we'll, that, that was always important to me and John both growing up, having that time with the family. And so there's a couple things we just really want to try to also have if we can. And so I think, yeah, I'm, I can't I have no complaints with I, the partner I have and John and, and the fact that we both have this understanding of the kind of family home environment that we want because we're, we're making it happen, you know. When we were in similar career fields, it never even occurred to me to think that, well, she's going to start making more money at some point than I will, because she was in a, with a company where that position, you know, would be better. She had more of a, a, a possibility of promotion than I did. You have to single fly. I am a project manager and project architect for commercial building projects. Some days I'm in the office doing drawings, um, some days I am out on a construction site, um, some days I'm doing both, which is very complicated for my wardrobe. Uh, but I refuse to be the woman in a skirt on a construction site because I already get stared at enough being a woman on a construction site. Oh, boom. Who's riding in style? I think, I think one thing that we didn't fully anticipate um, was how hard it was going to be to live on one salary um, with an extra person and now with two extra people. Um, we budgeted and we kind of figured out what that was going to look like on a monthly basis, but I don't think that we were, we really had a true picture. And I think in the beginning with the number of things that Jamie wanted to do and the number of times she would question what was going on simply because it's her instinct just to know because that's what she wants to know what's happened. I ultimately took the wrong way. You like, felt like I was saying you were doing it wrong. What I was doing or was doing it wrong. You know, and, and she it, just what felt I needed to more... know what was happening with my baby because yeah. I was the mom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not that I thought you were doing it wrong. So, I just needed to be clear on think, um, what had I happened his, still, in his day. I think still right now. I still have an issue with that sometimes just because of how the questions come up sometimes. Yes, we don't. We still, still do sometimes get a little. Because I'm like, well, then you do it. <laughs> She's like, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just kind of like that sensitivity about that process just because I feel like this is, I own <laughs> this process, so. But it is awesome.
it still doesn't feel good to know that, you know, she's out working when she wants to be here with the babies. It's stressful. It feels like, you know, you just have the weight of the world on your shoulders at times. And I'm here with the babies and I want to be out working. It wasn't in his life plan to be a stay-at-home parent. He wanted to be a provider and to have a wife and have a family. Like, he had this all planned out in his head and he saw it a certain way. <sighs> not good. Not good at all. And probably not for the same reasons that other stay-at-home fathers. Um, like I said, when I was very depressed in the beginning with Chloe, um, Danielle would be at work until about four in the afternoon. And as soon as she would come home, all I wanted to do was sleep. Uh, it's The only way I could explain it is when you're stressed out that much and when you're that depressed, instead of someone coming home to uh, to kind of be like, hey, let's go do something and have fun and being all happy and cheerful like, you know, she might have been. To me, that was like, I'm off duty. I just want to go to sleep now. That wasn't, she didn't like that. Well, I didn't like being at home. But she didn't like that I went to sleep. Well, I didn't like being at home. So it was like, who's right? Who's wrong? Who's indifferent, you know? Uh, it was it was pretty It was pretty rough during that time. I was like, you know, I'm depressed and you don't care. And she's like, well, I want to spend time with you and you don't care. And I'm like, again, who's right or wrong? I would say that it's definitely negatively impact our relationship that Brian's stay-at-home dad. I think that, that he has resentment, not necessarily toward me, but just toward the situation. But I think he takes it out on me, I think. Um, I don't know. I guess it's... So I don't know. I don't really understand it. It's something to do with being a man that I just don't understand. It wasn't necessarily just that I felt demasculine because I was at home. It was more of she wants to be here and I can't let her be here because me trying to get a job that pays what her job paid, being so. blind or disabled, just wouldn't happen. You know, if I did it, I would consider it a job. So. I realize that he does work hard taking care of the kids, you know, but I, I think that he doesn't adopt that same thought process. He feels like somehow because he doesn't work that he's less of a man or that other men don't see him the same way or I'm not really sure. But I know that it affects us. Alexa was probably, I can remember this, it's just gonna be one of those memories that sticks in my mind, but like she was probably three, three and a half. And we were playing um, dollhouse and she had her dolls and she, she would have the mommy going to work. She hadn't been in school or anything or you know, with any of her friends. She didn't understand that mommies didn't go to work and daddy was home. So her dolls are always doing what her, me and John were doing. And she would role play that. And I thought to myself, I don't know what kind of, what's happening here. You know, she's, her understanding of men and women and their roles, you know, is this good? I don't know. I think it's going to be good. She's going to always think she's supposed to work, you know. And This whole situation is often out of necessity. When you look at it from a sociological perspective, it's more out of necessity than, than really what people necessarily want. Like for me, it's different. Like for me, we're a family and we're a team and just everybody does what they can do. You know, just if you can do something, you just pick it up, that job, and you just do it. And we just work together and we're a family. So. It doesn't matter to me that I work and he doesn't, because taking care of the kids is just as important to me. Now that the babies are older, now that Chloe's older, and now that I've loosened up a little bit from that 
um, overprotective father that I used to be. Hi, son. Oh, you little butthead. Uh, the babies go to daycare now. Not to mention, I get to go to school now. And so I'm still home with them three days a week and on the weekends, but now I have an outlet too. In a perfect world, I think that I will be able to graduate. That would be huge for me, even if it takes me 10 years since I've been blind before I graduate. I think that day will be a huge milestone in my life. Um, because once I have that degree in my hand, I feel like I'm no longer gonna be just a blind guy who says he could do something. I'm gonna be a blind guy with a piece of paper that says I can do something. <laughs> I wanna work in a hospital as a social worker, and I want to be able to work weekends so that I can be home with them like during the week. I, I wanna work at Apple Incorporated um, on the accessibility team, and I think that if I could get that job and I have that degree, I think I can make a pretty good income. And I think that, you know, my wife would be able to stay home if she wanted to. And I'm sure this is a pretty common feeling, but I, I didn't understand how much I was gonna love seeing you be a dad and how that was going to make me love you even more because you are a good dad to them. And you know, my love for them and my love for you, it, it kind of all <laughs> becomes tied together. <laughs> Yeah, I had I, no I comprehension of how that was going to be. How awesome it is just like seeing her like playing with the kids like down on the floor and just how happy they are. Good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I think about it a lot uh, and I know I would be doing things differently. Absolutely. But I don't know if it would be better. I mean, I think a mom is always a mom. So the fact that the kids get their dad as much as they do, I just think it's such a blessing because, I mean, my boys having their dad like that to help them to foster that, you know, boy. I, I don't, I wouldn't have it. I wouldn't be bringing that there. And I, I wouldn't be the rough and tumble like he is. And I, just the way guys sort of, are guys, and that's that's something that John understands and and delivers. As far as the structure in the house, I think it's better that John's home because I wouldn't be, at least I don't feel like it right now, um, that I wouldn't be as structured as he is. I mean, he's really got the house running well, and he doesn't tie the emotion into everything that I know I would. What was this one? Mine. Okay. I will go into the zoo. I want to see it. Yes, I do. I would like to live this way. This is where I want to stay. Will you keep me in the zoo? I want to stay in here with you. Boop, 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 doop, doop. We do not want you in the zoo. Out to go. Out, out with you. Why did they put me out this way? I should be in. I want to stay. Thunk slapped his knee. Yes, this is where I want to be. The circus is the place for me. Alright, go back. Oh. There he is. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know what? I never saw that. Day one is saying when dad turned to day two, and now here we are over four years later, I'm still going strong. And <laughs> It's great. So. I see a lot of reasons why it's very important for me to be doing what I'm doing versus the things that would be happening if I wasn't around or I wasn't supportive and the kids have to grow up in a family like that. It's just not con conducive for a healthy uh, moral and religious upbringing. You know, it's trying to raise how we were raised and it worked for me and so I'm pretty positive it worked for them. So.